What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're gonna fillet up a gorgeous golden tile fish. This is one of my absolute most favorite fish in the ocean. I get asked all the time what my favorite fish is. Well, this one right here makes the top three. All right, woo! This is an absolutely gorgeous fish. Always get stoked to cut up a giant golden tile fish like this. First thing we wanna do is puncture underneath the pectoral fin. Slide right out, splash the cameraman full of tilefish scales. Then we're gonna outline that collarbone, come behind the head. Just like on mahi, there's a good amount of meat behind the head there. All right, we're gonna use the tip of our knife. Go all the way down that dorsal fin there. Slide down. Now that we have that opening, we can rest our knife on the skeleton, letting the skeleton guide our knife. Now that we're to the center, we're gonna use the tip of our knife and we wanna work our way to the top of the spine so that way we don't lose any of that meat when we hit the other side. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up, separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Filleting most fish, my goal when going over the ribs is to get all of the belly meat off with the fillet. On tile fish, their bellies hook in and there is a pocket at the base of the ribs. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to skip over the belly meat all together, make sure that I don't lose the meat in that pocket on the bottom. About to show you guys what that looks like. There's our beautiful tile fish fillet, and here's what I mean. Look at this. The rib bones go down and they hook straight down. So this section of meat right here is easy to miss when you're taking the belly meat off. Then what we can do afterwards is you can feel where the rib bones end. Just go right there. And there you go. You did not lose out on your golden tilefish belly. You just took it off afterwards. And you got a perfectly polished off skeleton right there. Let's flip it over and repeat the process. Pick up the fin, like the handle that eyeball gives me. Go behind the head at an angle. Come all the way down, right in front of that pelvic fin, behind the pectoral fin. Now we're gonna roll them over and repeat the process. Tip of the knife right at that opening and we're gonna slide right down. Now that we've got that opening, we can rest our knife right on top of the skeleton, letting the skeleton guide our knife so we don't lose any of that delicious tile fish meat. All right, now tip of the knife, work our way to the top of the spine, two reasons. That way we can hit the second side without losing any of the meat. Second reason, so that way there's no tear in the meat while we pull on the head more. We're gonna skip right over that belly meat again. Ugh. No rib bones in our fillet because we skipped over the belly. All the rib bones are right there. Find the rib bone with your finger. Cut right in front of it. You got all the tilefish belly. On these big golden tilefish, what you really don't want to lose out on is that cheek meat. Just like grouper, there's phenomenal cheek meat. You can feel with your finger where the bone is and then where it gets soft. And you wanna trace that line. And the meat hooks underneath the lip, so you just wanna work your way underneath the lip just like that. Keep outlining that head. Use the tip of your knife so that way you're scooping into the meat and not losing any of that delicious cheek meat. Don't wanna work my knife into that hook right there. You guys can see, check that out. So on these tilefish cheeks, they're broken into two parts. And you wanna make sure that you release the whole thing before you start pulling on it. Otherwise, you'll separate those two parts. And you can kinda of see it right here. I don't know if the camera can pick up on it, but you've got this piece. Then you can see that cut. That's not from the knife, that is the natural separation of the two parts of the cheek. So you wanna make sure that your finger is underneath that top one. And there you go. That is a fat golden towel fish cheek. And you can see where that top part lays on top of that bottom part. It's really neat. There's a gorgeous golden towel fish cheek right there. That is a phenomenal cut of fish. There is good collar meat on these tilefish you don't want to miss out on, especially when they're larger fish. So there's a couple different approaches. 
We could remove the whole collarbone, which I'm partial to. That way you make sure you don't lose any meat at all. But if you're at a hurry at the dock space and you don't have time to remove the whole collar, you don't have time to mess with it, at least do this. Find the collarbone. You can feel it with your finger. Slip your knife right underneath it and outline it. Go underneath the throat there, then on the bottom, that pelvic fin, and boom. Look at that. That is boneless collar meat that took two seconds to get out. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna repeat the same process. Collarbone right here. You can actually see it this time, it's sticking out. Slide your knife right underneath it. Outline that bone in the pelvic bone. You're gonna outline. And that collar meat on that towel fish is absolutely phenomenal. On a lot of fish, the collar meat is a super fatty cut, like on jacks and cobia. On tile fish, they're not. It's actually gonna be less fluffy than the filet itself. And it's just a, it's a unique texture. It's absolutely delicious. You should try tile fish collars. This skeleton is not getting thrown away. It's gonna make a banging soup. Simmer down the skeleton, all the meat just falls right off. Then you can use the water that you simmer the skeleton in as a stock, make your soup out of it, re-add the meat. It's phenomenal. If you haven't tried it, you should. All right, when you're done with all that, you've got this belly meat that still has skin and membrane left on. It's easy to cut out. You can see this line right here. You're gonna use that line, dip your knife right there, slide on out, flip it over. So you wanna have a flat knife. You don't wanna have your knife angled down, otherwise you'll cut through that delicate membrane easily. There's your belly. Do the same thing to the collars. You can see that little dip Get underneath the membrane, flat knife, there we go. No meat left on that membrane. Let's get to these fillets. How I'm gonna cut up these fillets is, I'm gonna go right there, then we're gonna follow that pin bone line down. This right here, the low loin at the top of the fillet. Then we've got the upper hyaloin of the golden towel fish. This right here is considered the Rolls Royce of the fish. Skin on for grilling. I even have some chef friends that leave the scales on golden towel fish. They pour hot oil on the golden towel fish skin. The scales puff up and they're brittle enough to actually eat. And it's apparently it's phenomenal. I haven't tried it yet. If you've tried it, comment below, let me know what you think. Or you want to saute in a pan and you don't want to fuss with the skin, it is easy to take off. At the head, there's a natural separation right there. We want to get our knife underneath and slides right off. Look at that. You see the nice fattiness inside of that fish. It's phenomenal. Golden towel fish is fluffy white sweet meat. You can see the flake lines in this fish. It has longer, more consistent, closer together flake lines than grouper does, with just as much moisture in between each of those flakes that a deeper water grouper like yellow edge or snowy has. Smaller golden tilefish have a fluffy white sweet meat, a lighter texture than grouper. These larger golden tilefish are actually gonna be a little meatier. Uh, it's bizarre how big of a texture change a smaller tilefish to a bigger tilefish there is. These larger ones are the reason why people compare tilefish to lobster meat. I still think that is a ludicrous comparison. Tilefish tastes nothing like lobster. It does not have a lobster flavor profile. It is just as white and mild as fish gets, whereas lobster has a strong standalone flavor. Golden tilefish, when I prepare this, I do nothing but salt and pepper and picking up on the diet of the fish. Cheeks, throat, upper low loin, upper high loin, the rest of the filet, boneless skinless belly, boneless skinless collar. You guys, let me know which one you would reach for first. I'd love to hear your answers. For me, I'm gonna have to go basic and go for the upper high loin. This thing cut into sections, pan roasted, whew, phenomenal. But don't sleep on those odd cuts either. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a killer day.